Stephanie and I's encouragement. Yeah, I love uh, it. You got mine too. Yeah, <laughs> this morning, you know, a lot of folks may be excited to throw a little bit of the pigskin and enjoy some some, uh, some wins. I believe Auburn lost to LSU. I, I don't want to be a spoiler alert, but LSU also lost to Florida State. <laughs> Linda. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty excited about that. 48 degrees is the temperature at the Talladega Super Speedway, 50 in Birmingham. Uh, we're talking about drier weather conditions. Now the humidity level is going to increase and so we're not going to have the high fire danger that we had last week. We're going to see a gradual increase in some of the humidity levels enough so that we're not going to see that widespread red flag warning. But we're not looking at any rain for quite some time, so just be very cautious if you have any kind of uh, outdoor bonfires or anything uh, out there at the Talladega Super Speedway. Some temperature fluctuations as we head towards next week, but really we're kind of surrounded by several different weather features that are not very well organized. It's 50 in Clanton this morning, it's 47 in Gadsden, it's 55 in Coleman, 48 in Fayette this morning. So for your first cup, it feels pretty decent. Temperatures will be in the 50s and will be about 60 degrees by 10 a.m. this morning. Not much happening weather-wise with the exception of the remnants of Ian. And believe it or not, because we don't have any steering currents. There's no real active widespread fronts that are pushing in. Ian's not going anywhere. Check out the future cast. It continues to show on the future cast models rain showers. They will spiral into areas like DC and into uh, Raleigh, even into portions of Long Island. But most of us will still be on the outskirts of all of that moisture. Monday morning, you can see some cloud cover southern Georgia, a little bit more moisture into areas of South Alabama, but it just brings our humidity level up to a safer level. Quick note on what's happening out there in the tropics, still monitoring an area of low pressure. That could be our next tropical depression, about 70% chance in the next five days, but it won't be a problem for us here locally. We're just keeping tabs on that hurricane season for you. 80 is expected by midweek, but still right